Some Chinese cities are using samples taken from the ANUS to detect potential COVID-19 infections as China steps up screening to make sure no potential carrier of the new coronavirus is missed ahead of next month's the Lunar New Year holidays when tens of millions of people usually travel home to their families. China has been battling new pockets of the disease that have appeared in the north and northeast with strict lockdowns and mass testing in a bid to stamp out the outbreaks. Zhang Wenhong, leader of Shanghai COVID-19 treatment expert team and director of the Department of Infectious Diseases at Huanshan Hospital, Shanghai, said that they are concerned about the recovered patients who tested positive again infecting others. To mitigate such risk, Shanghai adopted a preventive approach. After two nucleic acid test results negative, we also conduct anal swab for patients after patients swallow the nucleic acid. There may be traces of coronavirus detected in the abdominal cavity feces and intestine. Li Shongzheng, Associate Director of Respiratory and Infectious Disease at Beijing's Yuan Hospital, said that applying extra anal swabs can improve the detection rate of infection and reduce misdiagnosis. He added that because anal swab is inconvenient compared to other swab tests, it is only being used for people under quarantine in major centers, including Daxing District in Beijing. The sad practice gets the attention of some Chinese and triggered talks in Chinese social media. A student who returned from South Korea, who had an anal swab in Beijing, wrote that it is an endless shame, while a student based in Australia mentioned in her blog that she was administered with anal swab and encouraging others to cooperate with medical staff. Also, a woman from northern city of Tangshan said that the practice is a bit embarrassing but for their own good. Meanwhile, some Chinese health experts are expressing their doubts towards the practice. Dr. Yang Zhengkayu from Wuhan University said in an interview that there have been cases concerning the COVID-19 testing positive in a patient's excrement, but no evidence has suggested it had been transmitted through one's digestive system. Ia de Vera, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.